Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to fix the slowdown in Sparking Zero if you have either higher than 60 FPS, uh, like you like you uh, tune the settings to get higher than 60 FPS, then you get this super slowdown. Uh, it seems the game is linked to the frame rate somehow, like uh, the animations and gameplay and stuff is all on frame rate. So if it's Higher than 60, it slows down. If it's lower than 60, it slows down. And this is also going to work for people that don't have high-end graphics cards or the minimum graphics cards required. However, this game is pretty forgiving as uh, you can play with a 11 to 13 year old graphics card on 720p, low settings, and you'll get 60. It's even below the minimum requirements and it still works. But uh, if you want to ch uh, turn up the settings, uh, on that low-end graphics cards or old graphics cards uh, you might not get 60 but only like 35 or 40 fps and, and some people are uh, okay with that fps experience so including myself i have a bad graphics card at the moment and uh, i'm tuning up the settings and i don't get a slowdown and the reason is I uh, did some stuff in the INI file for Sparking Zero to fix that slowdown. Uh, thanks to some, there's some other people. Uh, I think I saw a video on on the Steam Deck side of things, which also shows this. So you can you can even fix it on the Steam Deck and stuff. So you get uh, a smooth experience, not a slowdown, even at low or higher FPS. So I'm just going to jump in and show you how to do that. Okay, first off. So if you go to your C drive, users, your uh, name of your account, and then you're gonna look for app data. If it's not there, it's hidden. So then you'll need to go to your settings and uh, I think it's here somewhere. In view, you can show hidden content and stuff. Somewhere here, or it's in control panel. Now uh, you go to app data, local, and then you search for Sparking Zero. Uh, it's going to be, there it is. Then you go to Saved, Config, Windows, Engine.ini. Now if you go you way down, you can copy this. I'm going to post it down in the comment section or in the description. Um, you want to tune fixed frame rate, you can put it to whatever FPS. If this is higher, then your system can do like like say your system can't get above 80 fps then it's gonna uh, if the if you put this to 90 or 100 it's gonna slow down but if, if you put it to like 75 to 80 fps it's not gonna slow down it's actually gonna give you more fps uh, than 60 at least now you're gonna need to use system settings use fixed frame rate true smooth frame rate false fixed frame rate to 30 uh, to do your uh, speed of your system i'm running at 35 because my graphics card is bad so this is uh i'm i'm actually upping the graphics settings and lowering the frame rate so i can get uh lower than 60 fps smooth no slowdown lower than 60 fps and i can tune up higher graphics settings so if I don't do this, I tune up the graphics settings, I get 40 or 30 FPS and the game is super slow, like I said. But if I do this, it fixes that slowdown. Now, another thing you can do is AI upscaling or TSR. I think it's on Real Engine's uh, uh, temporal upscaling stuff. Now, I just pop this in here, as you can see, uh, Temporal AA Algorithm 1, Temporal AA Upsampling 1, Tone Mapper Sharpen 1.1. Now, I'm not sure if they already use this, but I just popped it in here and uh, maybe I get a little bit more performance. Uh, now, you're going to see some uh, uh, artifacts with this uh, upscaling, so if you don't want to use it, you, you can just leave this out, this Temporal AA stuff. And it uh, algorithm stuff. You can remove these these three if you don't want to use it. However, if you want to, there it is. 
Now, if you've done this, and that, that fixed frame rate is not higher, then uh, your system can run. Then you will not get a slowdown. But if it's higher, you're going to get the slowdown. And even if, if you uh, go lower, if you don't do this, it's also going to run slower than it should. So do that and you'll have a good experience. Okay, here we are in Sparking Zero. And uh, if you go to graphics settings, as you can see, I'm uh, actually a little bit higher than the 720p resolution set here, 105. High anti-aliasing, shadow quality on medium, texture quality on high, post processing on, processing on medium, all these stuff are a blend between low and medium and even high settings. And I'm getting 30 FPS. Now, if, you, if I uh, left this on the base stuff, I'm still going to get the same frame rate, but it's going to super slow down. But let me just jump into a, a normal battle. Now, you got to remember, I'm also recording on the system, so it's even slowing down even more than it should. I mean, if you record on an 11-year-old graphics card, you can expect slowdown. So I'm going to go to the easiest uh, place to run the game, which is the hyperbolic time chain. But the reason they use this as the multiplayer map for local multiplayer as well. Okay, start battle. You ever wonder what training in other world is like? As you can see, the, the pacing is still fast, even though you're getting below 60 FPS. Charge up some key. Let's infinite combo. Now, as you can see, uh, the frame rate is uh, low, but it's still very much playable. And that's about that. As you can see, it works pretty fine, uh, even below 60. So there you have a solution for it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.